morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me as we take a look at Tropical Storm Elsa and its impacts on Southern Vermont tomorrow. Um, and it will have some impacts on Southern Vermont for primarily heavy rain um, with a slight chance of some flooding. I think the flooding will probably most likely be um, in kind of the flash flooding variety uh, where small streams uh, would be the most significant impact or culverts, things like that. Um, but this uh, mainstream rivers can't be completely ruled out. We do need to keep an eye on this. I think this, the chance of flooding is somewhat slight, but definitely possible. So let's take a look at all the details because this is a potentially high impact forecast for you. Um, in terms of what's going on currently, you can see Tropical Storm Elsa here over the Carolinas. Um, and you can see the track. This is the National Weather Service track, which takes it basically right uh, over the canal to, to Cape Cod across southeast New England. You can see that we're very soupy in the atmosphere to the north uh, of it. And we have seen some rain overnight. Uh, we'll probably see some additional rain today and tomorrow night before we actually get into the bulk of Tropical Storm Elsa. So the pump is primed here for some flooding issues. The ground is very saturated. Um, and so we just need a period probably of three inches of rain in six hours, which is not out of the uh, realm of possibility to cause some significant issues. Um, I still think it's, uh, maybe I'm overstating it a bit. I don't want you to panic or think that we're definitely going to see flooding, um, but it is something you should be prepared for for tomorrow, um, as there is definitely a non-zero chance, probably a 10% chance, maybe a 15% chance that someone in Southern Vermont sees some flooding issues um, and maybe about a two to 3% chance that we see some major issues. Um, so that's not real high, but it's not zero. So I want you to be aware of it. Um, in terms of the moisture, you can see here on the water vapor imagery, you can see we're streaming a lot of moisture north um, along with uh, not just the tropical system, but the pattern itself is very soupy at the moment, which is what is actually allowing our tropical system to ride up the coast and to impact us here over New England. In terms of why we're gonna see the heavy rain and while the compact system is there now, it is gonna expand in its expanse of the heavy rain. Um, and so that's why I think Southern Vermont could get into it. I'd be much more concerned over central Massachusetts and over central and southeastern New Hampshire uh, and up into southeastern Maine. That's where the real significant chance for flooding is, or at least a significant chance for heavier rain, um, where we could see four or five inches of rain in those places. Um, that will definitely be problematic there, although actually um, our terrain enhancement can cause problems, right? Where three or four inches of rain over a six hour period can cause big problems in Vermont, may not actually cause as many problems closer to the coast because it's not as hilly and those rivers uh, that are gives a little bit more time to get a lot of ponding and, on, and parking lots and things like that. But in terms of the streams, it's really problematic when you get the terrain enhancement there. So um, we'll have to keep an eye on that. So even though we're gonna get less rain than some places to our east, we could see impacts uh, um, that are uh, similar to that. Okay, so back to this map, what's going on? Here we see a jet streak. Uh, um, this is winds at the upper levels of the atmosphere. Um, the jet stream in general, you can kind of see it. It comes up over the top, a little bit of a dip here, and then across northern New England. We are going to be in the entrance, right front entrance area to that jet stream tomorrow. This is actually going to increase over the top of us tomorrow. And that is a place where rainfall gets enhanced because it enhances lift uh, in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. Um, and that's one of the reasons that the rainfall, which is kind of uh, somewhat the heavy, heavy rainfall, which is confined to pretty close to the tropical storm, will expand out somewhat. And the real question is, how far west does that expand? Does it get into southern Vermont? Do we get that burst of three, four inches of rain? Probably not four inches of rain, but we get two to three inches of rain in a six-hour period tomorrow morning. Um, and that would potentially cause us those problems, particularly with the rain we've already seen. So uh, the National Weather Service has issued, um, as you can see, this is, uh, you often see these kinds of maps for thunderstorms, but this is for potentials for flash flooding and flooding. And you can see we are in the yellow, which is the slight uh, area, which they put at the 10 to 20% chance of flooding. Although you can see a red area to our south. And if you look to tomorrow, it's a little hard to see on this map, but you can see east, a lot of eastern New England is in that moderate, which is like, 30 to 40 percent uh, chance of uh, flooding. Uh, we, we continue to be just in a slight area, but I think we do have a chance at some flooding tomorrow. Uh, in terms of overall rain, what are we looking at? The National Weather Service is calling for two to three inches of rain for us um, overall. And if that comes relatively slowly, like if we get an inch of rain today, which is definitely possible, or three quarters of an inch of rain today, which is definitely possible, that will be that won't that will prime the pump so that we don't need quite as much rain to flash flood, but it won't be terrible. It's really about getting a lot of rain in a short amount of time to flood our rivers here in southern Vermont. Um, so I think this could definitely cause, uh, if, if we get an inch of this today and then two inches during a tropical storm tomorrow, we should be fine, right? Um, we'll definitely have ponding on the roads and it'll be kind of a mess, but um, I don't think any flooding issues. It's really if we get a 
Uh, not much of this today, or if we go a little bit above this three inch, where we get a half an inch of rain, say, today, and then we get three to three and a half inches of rain tomorrow, that's where the threshold is for us. So i um, not going to know for sure if that's going to happen until tomorrow, but we're going to have to keep an eye on that, like I said. Uh, in terms of uh, what I'm calling for, I think actually the tropical storm will take a slightly closer pass us to the National Weather Service on maybe 15, 20 miles west of where they are. Really, that's a pretty insignificant difference. But basically, it's throwing the heavy rain uh, to the west and to the north of that storm, certainly to the east as well. But wind will be the issue on Cape Cod. We don't have to worry about the winds. The winds will not be a problem for us on a Friday. Uh, in terms of, so the details, high impact timing, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. tomorrow. Um, so basically the heaviest rain starts to impact us by mid-morning tomorrow. Um, by 2 p.m. we'll probably cut off with the rain. If we're going to see any main river flooding, it would probably happen in uh, between about 1 p.m. and 3 or 4 o'clock p.m. tomorrow. The West River tends to press a couple hours after the heaviest rain lets up. We could still certainly have some showers tomorrow afternoon, but the um, like I said, this is really about how quickly does that rain come. Biggest impact, heavy rain, flooding is possible. I'll um, have to keep an eye on that. You should be somewhat prepared for that. If you live in a, in a flood prone area, be very cautious or be very aware of what's going on on radar tomorrow. If you have to travel tomorrow, just be aware that if you see water over the road because of culverts out or something like that, don't drive through. It's not worth it. Um, find a different way around um, because it doesn't take that much water to wash a relatively small or even a larger vehicle. Out of the way, wind gusts really not a big deal. 35 miles an hour at peaks um, really won't cause any power outages or anything like that. Uh, finally, impact, uh, just flooding slight, wind none, rainfall, definitely going to see a lot of rainfall. So if you got questions for me, uh, let me know. I will definitely be back um, probably tomorrow morning. I'll go uh, I'll have my forecast for the weekend out anyway, and then I'll probably also go live sometime mid-morning tomorrow to talk about the impacts of Tropical Storm Elsa. I'll put that out on Facebook and on social media. If you've got questions for me, let me know. Um, like I said, I think this is one of those times you want to be prepared. Even though I don't think the impacts are going to be super high, there is a small chance that they could be. And so it's worth taking a few minutes to be prepared, particularly if you're in a place um, where, the, where, where those uh, where where flooding can be an issue. Um, take the normal kind of precautions that you do when you see heavy rain on the way, um, just to be cautious and, and safe. And also obviously keep a very close eye on radar and uh, your local weather station, your apps, whatever kinds of things as you can. We are a flash flood watch for all the Northeast. And so um, if you get a flash flood warning, that usually means uh, you really need to take that seriously. Um, so if you see that on your phone. Um, thanks for uh, supporting my channel. Thanks for checking out what I do. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, um, that helps you get my videos uh, whenever they come out, um, when the weather's interesting and when it's not so interesting. And also, um, thanks to my patrons who help support what I do here at the West River Weather Guy. It really helps uh, uh, enhance the look and the uh, ability of these forecasts to come out on a regular basis. Uh, otherwise, we'll be back tomorrow with morning with a with your weekend forecast, and also I'll go live tomorrow morning to talk about the impacts from tropical storm Elsa. Hopefully, it's to tell you that um, the rain and shield looks like it's going to stay mostly to ourselves and east, and we won't really have high impacts. But we'll have to wait and see to some extent for that tomorrow. All right, thanks for joining me again, and we'll talk to you and see you tomorrow.